Subtraction without borrowing by counting forward or backward. Starry, we have learned how to subtract one digit numbers by striking out the dots. Now we shall learn how to subtract the numbers without borrowing by counting forward or backward. See Starry, let's subtract 3 from 5. Let's solve this example by counting forward. We shall draw one dot for every number after 3 till we reach the number 5. Here, 4, 5. Now let's count the number of dots. There are 2 dots. So, Starry, 5 minus 3 equals 2. Can you tell me another example? Okay, 27 minus 20. So, let's draw one dot for every number after 20. Here, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. How many dots have we drawn till the number 27? Yes, 7 dots. So, Starry, 27 minus 20 equals 7. This method is simpler for bigger numbers, Starry. Hey, Starry, let me show you something interesting. Let's solve the first example again. Subtract 5 minus 3. Now, instead of counting forward from 3, we shall count backwards. Let's take 1 from 5. We get the answer 4. Again, let's take away 1 from 4. The answer is 3. Let's subtract 1 from 3. We get the answer 2. We have subtracted 1 thrice from 5. So, we get the answer 5 minus 3 equals 2. See Starry, instead of subtracting 1, Three times we shall count three numbers backwards from five. So we count four, three, two. Thus, five minus three equals two. Okay, Starry, let's solve the second example again. Subtract twenty seven. Minus 20. What shall we do, Starry? Yes, let's count 20 numbers backwards from 27. That is 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. On which number did we reach? Yes, 7. Thus, 27 minus 20 equals 7. Did you understand both the methods, Starry? Okay, then let's solve a few examples. Subtract 14 minus 6 
by counting forward. What shall we do, Starry? Yes, we shall count forward after six till we reach the number fourteen, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. How many dots have we drawn? Yes, eight dots. So fourteen minus six equals eight. Here's the next example story. Subtract thirty-seven from forty-two. What is the first step story? Yes, let's count forward after thirty-seven till we reach forty-two. Thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two. How many numbers did we count, Starry? Only five. So forty-two minus thirty-seven equals five. Now the next one. Subtract fifteen minus. Four. Hey, Starry, shall we solve by counting backwards? Okay. So we count back four numbers from fifteen. Thus, we count back to fourteen, thirteen, twelve, eleven. So we get fifteen minus four equals to. Eleven. Here's the last example. Forty-seven minus six. Let's solve it by backward counting. Starry, how many numbers should we count backwards? Yes, six numbers backwards from forty-seven. So, forty-six. Forty-five, forty-four, forty-three, forty-two, forty-one. We reach on the number forty-one. So forty-seven minus six equals to forty-one. Okay, Starry. Let's fill in the blanks. By solving the given examples orally, the first example is thirty-one minus four. Let's count four numbers backward from thirty-one. We get the answer twenty-seven. The next blank is eighteen minus eight. Hmm. Counting forward from eight, we get eighteen by counting ten numbers. So eighteen minus eight equals ten. Here the next example story. Eighteen minus fifteen is equal to dash. Hey, which method will be easy here? Yes, forward counting. Let's count forward after fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So eighteen minus fifteen equals three. Starry, remember to do subtraction. By the method that you find easy.